Hello everyone, as you can see, we have another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. Uh, it is an older figure. Uh, we do have Captain Phasma here with the Quicksilver baton. Um, basically, the reason I'm opening this box now is because I'm still, yes, still uh, waiting for my pre-orders to come in. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat as I am. Uh, speaking of which, if you are, which ones are you waiting on um leave those as a comment down in the description er or down below the description there um so like i said we're gonna go ahead and open this box it is a an older figure um one of the reasons i got this was to see how well it would look with a for the mandalorian um figure because it maybe use the quicksilver baton as a beskar spear I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how large it is, see if it makes sense. It might be too big, actually, but we'll see here. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the outside of this box. We'll go ahead and open it up, take a look at Phasma's articulation, uh, take some pictures, come back, talk about some of the things that we liked and or disliked about the figure. All right. So um, as I'm going through this, make sure to ask questions down below and give the video a thumbs up. And also, if you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so as well. All right, so uh, we're taking a look at the figure here from the outside. Uh, it looks like we've got the baton, like I said. Uh, we've got her blaster as well. On the side here, we don't have the number designation, uh, but we ha do have the Echo 208. And then on the back here, we have Captain Phasma. Captain Phasma and a squad of elite First Order troopers capture resistance heroes Finn and Rose who have infiltrated Snoke's flagship, the Supremacy. Before Phasma can eliminate them, a series of unforeseen events leads to a dramatic battle between Phasma and Finn. All right. Um, you know, since I've got Phasma here, um, if you've got... A, Something that I'm doing right now is actually I'm reading the Phasma book. It is surprisingly good so far, so uh, I definitely recommend taking a look at that. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and open up the box. We're going to do it from the bottom, as we typically do here. Interesting. Okay, cool. So it looks like the baton comes out the back. Hmm. Come back to that. Blaster. Phasma and the baton, the small baton just came out. So awesome. Cool. All right. I'm going to get everything cleaned up here and I'll be right back. All right. So let's take a look at what we've got for the accessories. Uh, we have... Phasma's blaster here, which is actually pretty good. Um, I like the fact that it is gold-ish, uh, and we've got the black accents, so that's pretty good. Um, they could have just gone with black, but they didn't, so I'm happy with that. We've got the small baton here, and then the larger baton. Uh, so I might be able to use this as a best car steel, uh, as the best car um, staff for the Mandalorian might um but this guy yeah i mean it's just kind of eh. and just take a quick look uh it does not look like she actually has any place to put it um, we do have the trip uh, typical holster uh which we'll take a look at in just a minute so the figure itself you can kind of see maybe let me get a little light here you can kind of see her eye right there uh, if you look underneath, um, it is the helmet does not come off. At least it's not supposed to. You might be able to heat it up. I'm not going to do that. The helmet is kind of flimsy, so I'm going to be very careful with that. Uh, you can see we've got the uh, the marks along here. Uh, the the cape is soft goods, which you would probably expect for this, um, and then her back there. As far as shoulders, that's about as far up as we're gonna go. Let me go ahead and dim the light back. Um, no movement at the upper arm. The movement for the arm is all on the elbow. And we'll get about 90 degrees there, which isn't bad. Then we get our left-right movement there. 
got our 90 degrees there and then left right on that one as well torso typical movement i think uh the belt sort of attached we've got the uh the holster for the blaster right there and we have double knees as you would expect from this figure here all right so uh like i was saying holster basically all we're going to be doing is looking for that little notch right there and that will go right there and that is phasma's blaster <laughs> which she won't hold on to if she falls down all right anyways uh so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some pictures we'll see how she looks holding on to the quicksilver baton see if that looks any good and we'll be right back All right, well, I think that was a good look at the figure, like I said before. Uh, something I really like about the figure is the look into Phasma's eye there. I wish they would have made it so that the helmet would have come off, but I understand, especially when this figure was made, uh, they just weren't doing that quite as much. Uh, the blaster, I think they did a really good job on. The smaller baton, uh, I was just kind of eh about. I do like the full-size Quicksilver baton, however. I think that looks really good. And I think it'll look really good on the shelf, depending on how you use it. And if you don't decide to use the baton as it is, like I said before, I think it would be really good to use as a Beskar steel um, blade as well, kind of like what they used in the Mandalorian, uh, especially going up against the, the Darksaber. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, and then the soft goods, it's about what you would expect. So I, I think it's a good figure. I mean, you can still pick it up and you can pick it up pretty cheap as well. And I'll leave a link uh, down in the description area for Amazon, which I know you can get. If I can find it anyplace else, I'll leave a link for that as well. Um, like I said before, the reason why I'm opening an older figures is because I've got so many on pre-order. I'm just waiting, waiting, not so patiently for them to come in. Uh, but uh, yeah, so if you have any uh, comments as far as which pre-orders you're looking forward to the most, let me know. Um, and if you have any questions about Phasma here, let me know as well. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, like I said, the this using the baton as best car steel um, I think will work really well. So with that, if you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, including Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series, but also going to theme parks, home automation, electronics, travel, basically anything that a professional geek would find interesting. So with that, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and have a great day.